What is going on, uh, ladies and gents? So today we're going to do a tutorial on force creep packages. There's many different ways to do them. This was requested by uh, K-Bell a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm going to do the basics of a force creep. You can change quest statuses to make it on event, like uh, location change event, stuff like that. So when you go there, it searches, your alias searches for an NPC. I don't got time to get into all that today, so I'm going to show you the basics. The rest is pretty easy to figure out but in a basic quest for screen that's what we're going to do today i do want to give a word real quick on uh that i appreciate you guys watching the videos whether it's two people or 200 either way i hope it helps somebody uh when you do request a tutorial uh, please keep in mind that i'm a self-employed business owner that is very busy all my spare time goes to modding and tutorials so sometimes when one is requested or something's asked for i can't do it immediately uh, i do get to it when i can um and I don't make money off YouTube. I mean, if you've watched my mod trailers, then you fucking know that they're not monetizing my videos. So, uh, we'll get, I already made the quest. Uh, I called it AA Force. I put it at 70. I put it at main quest so we can watch this whole thing go through, right? Uh, it doesn't need to be done that way. I'm just doing it for this. Start up stage 10. I have three stages set up. So, I'm going to go new in here. And... You don't have to do any of this stuff. I'm doing this because so you can see them fire as you go through. So I'm just setting this quest up. So for the tutorial reason, you can see it. So that was why I set the, uh, the quest at a main quest. So I'm going to make two objectives. We're going to call them, uh, we'll make three actually. Zero will be talk to Holda. Everybody's favorite person to start with. And then number, the next one will be 10. This one will be uh, walk near Sadia. And number 20, we're going to just put four screen done. This is just so you can see these pop up as we finish the... Uh, finish the it, it goes through the whole quest so you can see how it worked because usually you'd have this finished you'd have this just playing in the background but we're not gonna do that today so there you go there's those three there we're gonna uh let's go to your quest alias now this is where it's important you get aliases are used to add things to npcs packages whatever without actually altering the vanilla game so our first one i'm just gonna call it ak holder And, and then I always have allow reserve, optional, and allow reuse and quest. And then we're going to go unique actor. Find Holda. There she is. And that's all you need on this one. Now, duplicate this because the settings are all going to be the same. Let's go back into here. And now we're going to go AK Sadia. And we'll find Sadia. This is pretty simple. On this one, though, we're going to add a package into the alias. So we're going to go down here. We're going to hit New. And then we'll call it AAA Force Sadia. Right? Uh, we're not going to do much else with this yet. It's ever change it to Force Greet. And you'll see why in a bit. Because we need to make some dialogue to add to this. So we got our Force Greet there. Uh, former ID is not unique. Uh, okay. For Sadia now. I have so many, so much stuff in here that, there we go. So we got it for Sadia now. Your package is here. Close this out. Now let's go to dialogue. Uh, player dialogue. We're going to go new. Uh, Hold the talk. So this is going to be here. We'll leave it a topic. And you get to be like a gossip mail. Did you know that Sadia is a whore? Uh, ignore that. Then we're going to go into here. And there's 
thank you for bringing this to my attention. So, yeah, you become a snitch. But we're just doing this for a, a quest. So we're going to go good and buy on this one. We're going to add the actual conditions. So it's only going to be with Hulda. And then it's only going to be with uh, get stage. It's going to be with this quest. And it's going to be at stage zero. So when the quest starts. So that's the only time she can say that line. Uh, we'll actually copy these because we're going to use something similar in uh, Sadius. We got the goodbye set. We got everything else set. We're going to want set stage 10. We're going to do that. Compile it. Go to advance. Rename this script to AAA. Right? And that, you can change it to a full name if you want to, but this just knows this is what you're looking for later on. Right? If you were to upload it or I got to remove them. So this one's done with Holda. Pushes it to stage 10. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Sadia. Force. Sadia. Talk. Topic is fine. We're not going to put anything in the topic text. We're going to go right to her. Uh... What did you just say about me? So she, once we're finished, should force create. Now we're going to paste this in, and we're going to change this to Sadia. There's that. Then we're going to change this to 10. That will be said there. So now we're going to actually create a second one in here with this, just so it kind of speaks for a second. Uh, say the uh, topic two. There we go. So here I'm going to say, just how did you hear that? And then she'll just say, I'm always listening. And it'll end it. It's going to be simple. I'm always listening. So there we go. We're going to end this, and we're actually going to push this to stage. Whoops, I got the wrong one. Open up this bad boy again. Actually going to we'll push it to 20. And I will, like always, put these into the description. Rename this for some AAA so you can separate yours from other people's. And put a goodbye. We don't need the conditions on this one because this is the goodbye one. And it's the only way leading into it is through the first one. So we're going to go back into here. Go over here and add this link. And it's going to be the Sadia Talk to. You can scroll this over to find out. So this will lead to this. Now, we're not done yet. There's two things that got to be done for a force creep. One, down here, you don't want it top level. You want your main one that has a little arrow beside it set to normal. Because this is something she's going to approach you with. Now we go back over to quest aliases. Let's open Sadia back up. And go back into the package. Now that we have the text, you can open this and then just type in your AAA to find your text that you want. Yeah, there's a couple different ones in here. Go to Sadia Talk to make sure you got the right one leading into what she's going to approach you with. Everything else can basically stay for standard stuff when they get to a certain point. They approach you, you can make it so the distance is farther away. They start to force greet you. That's something you can play with on your own. I'm just showing you how to add a package. Now, next thing we need is conditions in the package. So we want the get stage. And then we want this quest. And we want this greater than or equal to 10. So this package will not fire in the alias until you've hit stage 10, right? Now let's duplicate this. We want it to end at 20, so we'll just put less than 20. So this is the only time that this can fire off. 
on this package while that alias is running in the quest. Everything is done here. You can add the owner quest if you want. That's up to you. A lot of times putting in an alias will do that already, but most likely more so in a scene, it'll do it. Now, one more thing I almost forgot before oh, we go into this was we had, just for this tutorial, we had set this up with our quest objectives, right? So we're going to want to, we already got the display there on zero. So we'll start it up. Tell us to talk to Holder. Holder? Man, I can't even speak today. And then once it gets to 10, we're going to talk about Sadia. So we can compile that. And then once it gets to 20, we're actually going to... Actually, we yeah, we, we'll do that. doesn't matter. I mean, there's another way to do this that I use the end of quest with, but this will work for, for this tutorial. And then we're just going to add one more real quick. Just stop. So then compile this. Make this the complete quest. And the quest is over. We're just going to start it manually in the game. So make sure before you go into your game, you go into your mod manager and you check the ESP that even you created it, it doesn't actually make it active. You have to manually do that. So let's head into game and see how this is working. So we're in the game, guys. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start up the quest. So uh, set stage AAA force to zero. And it starts it up. Start force, start a force screen. Then it'll say talk to Holda. So we're gonna go over to Holda. From Squire find the dialogue. to Squire. Oh, mine if it's work you need, existence. how about chopping up some wood for the fire? You know, Sadie, uh, you Sadie as a whore. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. So this will push the quest forward to the next stage when this is finished. So now we'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore the sheep. The blood and our steel, we will take back our home. <coughs> hey, what did you just say now about me? How did you hear that? I'm always listening. Killer of kings. Of so she'll still go about what she's doing until you come nearer on the next stage. And now that the, of sky the quest is done and we move forward, she's no, no longer force free. It's that simple, guys. You can add different ways to create a force free package, but that is the basics of it. I hope this helped you guys out, and I hope you guys have a good day.